Hello, this is Mindy from The Weekend Gardener, and today I'd like to show you how to propagate an African violet. Now, African violets are extremely easy to propagate, and while you can't start them from seeds, the easiest way of doing that is through a leaf setting. Now, African violets don't like to get wet. The leaves don't like to get wet, and that's a key point when you're propagating an African violet. So what you're going to do is, is you're going to take a cutting and you're going to cut it as close to the plant material as possible because if you cut it farther out that stem is eventually going to rot away anyway and you're going to have to remove it. So you're going to take a cutting. Now what you want is you want an angled cut and I'm actually going to cut this again. You don't want a straight across cut. You want an angle cut. And what that does, that allows this leaf to root better than a straight cut. It allows water to be taken up into the stem a lot easier than a straight cut. Also, an angle cut on the plant heals a lot better and you don't have to worry about water settling on that flat surface. If water happens to get on that cut on the plant material, it'll just roll off. Now at this point, you have two choices. You can dip your leaf cutting into a rooting hormone or honey and then you can stick it into soil. Now, if you choose this approach, what you will need to do, instead of watering from the top down, you're gonna to wanna to water from the bottom up. And what that means is you put your container in a bowl of water and allow the soil to pull up the water. And you also need to make sure that that soil is kept evenly moist, but never water from the top down because you're running a chance of getting water on the leaf and the stem, which will cause it to rot. Another approach that you can use, and you don't have to use a rooting hormone, is simply put the leaf in a container of water. Now, I like to use vases, um, very narrow vases such as this one, because it will hold the leaf up out of the water. All I have to do is just periodically pull this leaf up, check to see if there's any roots growing, make sure that there's water in the vase, and put the leaf back in. Now, rather, regardless of what technique you choose to use, make sure that you put your cutting in a nice sunny window and about six weeks later, you're going to have a new African violet plant. So give this a technique a try if you have African violets at home. So until we meet in the garden again, this has been Mindy from The Weekend Gardener.